a limit where it needs to feed. I work like I got vision, I don't need to see. I'm picking mind over matter, I believe in me. I need to find more hours in the day to breathe. Need to find more power in the way I be. And when my mind turns out with the painful scenes, I need to scream out loud, I can't stop me. I wanna be the greatest like Rocky. You know I think from all hits like a hobby. I'm out here making moves like a lobby. And if you ain't with me, it's your loss. I got my mind on the facts, I'm a python. Amber Morse comes in now, AQHA Reserve Pole Bending Champion in 2018 and 2019. The 2022 AQHA World Champion Stakes Race from the Bluegrass State of Kentucky. How are you? Did you sleep good? You look like you're ready for food, goodness. It is day two, and it's, I think, seven o'clock out now. I'm still the only one in the barns. I've already done her beamer. Well, I mean, I'm doing her beamer on her back legs. Then we're gonna do her front legs. She still has poultice on, it's dry, but I'm I'm not too worried about it. I have a used beamer, so if it gets a little bit dirty, that's fine. Then I'm gonna hose her legs off, and we're gonna go for a little walk. Uh, reason I'm doing her now is because I don't know when we run. They haven't listed the draws yet. If we run in the morning, I don't want her to be running on like a full belly from breakfast. I want her to have some time to, um, you know, digest all that. Uh, so, and I don't want to feed her just half of it right now and then half after we run, because again, I don't know when we run. If I feed her half now and then they release straws like two hours later, which is probably what's gonna be, I don't, yeah, I don't want to get caught having to feed her the other half of her meal in the afternoon, so. Which I'm sure would be fine. I just, I don't normally do that. I just want her to stay on her regular, normal routine. But we are inching ever closer to running a 14 in this pen. We have almost done it. 15189 yesterday for second in the 2D. I think we we're still top 10. There weren't a whole lot of 1D qualifiers. Uh, and that's out of 220 something horses. A little four year old Evie, 14 2, top. 10 out of 200 plus entries. Oh, she's gonna be so much fun when she gets older and more experience on her, but lordy, I cannot wait to run today to see what we can hit today. We're 14.9, that's all I want, 14.9. Evie, it's just people. Come, on. come up here, come, 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 come. Thank you, darling. <laughs> what are you doing, little bird? No, no, come back. <laughs> so I'm trying to finish my coffee. Maisie here, she's been attacking my feet up until I started recording, and then of course she quit. And then I've got Mac. Mac! Who is not letting me not sit without being squished. Mac! Please don't. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, Maisie. Yeah. Quit licking my hand. She was licking, or not licking. She was, there we go, get your foot. Yeah, she was growling at my foot. Ouch, claws, out, teeth. Rotten. You, stop, Mac. Mac. <laughs> this is what I've been dealing with for the past, oh, 10 minutes. I just want to finish my coffee. Mm, you cannot have it. They still haven't released the draws. But I am going to go ahead and do a training run on Evie. I'm just going to take her through and trot her just to make sure she's um, working good, working off her barrels. I am running her. Oh, that's the other thing. I changed her setup a little bit. So from the last time I did a video with you guys, I've been doing a lot of like trial and error. Um, just trying new things, seeing what works and what doesn't. Uh, so for slow work, we do, or we use the Josie Mullen, uh, medium shank, and that works really good for poles as well. Um, she feels so good in that with poles and slow work. However, running barrels, I have her in the Posey Twisted Wire. Uh, it's got a dog bone. Uh, same shank as all the other bits that I've used on her, um, <clears throat> if you've watched all my other videos. And I changed the curb from just a regular chain curb that the bit comes with to the Boca brand curb, which is a silicone um, beads that give just a little bit more squish to it. 
Um, so it's like, it's a good in between from the leather curve to a chain curve. Cause the chain curve is like, if I had to get her nose, the chain curve was too much and the leather curve was not enough. So that bokeh um, curve, I love it. She feels so good and she feels so much more comfortable. So I think we've got the right setup. I am gonna go ahead and do a training run in that setup, not her um, Mullen, because I just wanna make sure she's listening in that bit before we go and make a run today. warming her up so instead of like doing more work to get her supple and softer in the face I just did her normal workout routine or warm-up routine uh, yeah we had a really bad first barrel our second barrel wasn't too bad um, third wasn't bad either but we didn't stop either when we were coming out I had to really pull on her I don't like doing that even though it was clean I'm still kind of bummed about it because I'm still like really going for that 14.9. That probably could have been it had we made that first turn. But there's only tomorrow. We got bobble poles tonight, so that's going to be fun. I love running bobble poles. It's just a really good way to open up your horses, especially on the pole pattern. So that'll be really fun. I'm going to go in and watch for a little bit and just hang out and chill out and just have a good time. Everything that I lack, everything that I want, and I see matter of fact. I'm my own worst enemy. Come on, Amber. Only if I let it be. I can control on, anything if I can just think carefully. Get up, baby. I control my destiny. Come on, Amber. Come on, Amber. Get up, hurry. Every morning I wake up obsessed. Every morning I wake up obsessed. Your hose down. It's like sticking your head up over that. Come here, Evie. 
<laughs> Since we had another good run, it wasn't a 14.9, but it was still pretty good. Better than Saturday. Yes, much better than Saturday. We'll get there. We're getting closer. So we are currently sitting sixth in the 1D right now, uh, but there's still like 70 horses left to go. And we were drawn 90. So, I mean, six out of what's run so far, like, holy crap. I'm impressed. Like, this little four-year-old, she's a freaking firecracker. I cannot wait to see what she's going to do next year. Next year is going to be bomb. Anybody else can change the No. Back. 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 <laughs> so we are on our way home. I got the dog and the kitty. <laughs> And we finished eighth in total. So eighth out of 224 horses is not bad for a little four-year-old. It was the last place for um, getting money. So we at least got an extra $112. I think we won around 700 and over $700. I can't quite remember. Um, that's not including, you know, taking out entry fees. I need to still subtract all that. But we still, I think we got over, we made 400 and something dollars. So I'm super excited. I'm really happy with how we did yesterday. Our run, um, it bumped us out of the average having that run. Uh, we ended up ninth in the average, which is one hole out of money for that. But it was still, you know, it wasn't bad. We had a clean weekend. So I, that's all you can really ask for when you have a young horse and you just don't quite know, um, you know, how they're going to do at these big so shows. So one D super show, we are almost right there. You know, eighth out of that many horses. We're getting closer. I'm going to leave this here. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's going to be a little bit shorter than some of my other vlogs, but that's just the name of the game this time. Um, so yeah, if you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, uh, share the video, and until the next video, I will see you all in the next one. I messed that up, but whatever. And uh, until then, work hard and stay misfit.